What up, y'all? We are back with a brand new banger. Today we have the training nodes for One 2.2 and Quen Image. Uh, you'll be able to train your Laura directly in Confi UI, so you won't need anything external. That's gonna be pretty much as easy as it gets, I think. Um, and yeah, you only have to add the path to your models and the path to your data set and you should be good to go. So um, I'll go over the workflow real quick and then I'll go over uh, the installation on Windows and then on RunPod. So let's get into it. Okay, so when you open up the workflow, this is what you're going to see. Uh, just make sure you read that if you have any questions, but I'll go over the installation and all the settings in this video. Uh, the first part here is for models training. You only really need the low noise for one. Uh, you can just put the path to the models directly in there. Uh, just make sure you use the non-scaled version of the models. Uh, if you use the scaled version, it's just not going to work. Here you can select the uh, resolution you want. Uh, this is 512. You can put it to 1024. It's just going to take longer to train it and use more VRAM. Um, for the batch size, so with the batch size of 2, usually it's, the training is done by 600 steps. It's basically done. If you set it to uh, 1, it's going to be done by 1200 steps. If you set it to 4, it's going to be done by 300 steps. You get the idea. Uh, those two you don't need to change. And this here is going to be your data sets. You just put the path to your data sets. If you have two, you can put uh, this one here. Uh, and the second one here, if you only have one, you can just delete that and you're going to be good to go. And then you can play around with the number of repeats. So let's say you have a face and a body data set. Maybe you wouldn't put uh, the face data set with a repeat of two and the body data set with a body uh, repeat of one. Um, but it repeats is basically the amount of images times the number of repeats. So if you have 30 images, with uh, repeats 2, it's basically going to train as if you have 60 images um, for this data set. Okay, I won't go too much into the details, but that's the, basically the gist of it. Um, then we have the caching nodes. Um, you can just leave that as is. Uh, just make sure you set that execute to true if you want to cache the images and the latents. Um, and this is preset for you, but you can select a quite image. That's going to be the same for the other workflow. Um, and this is going to be your sample. So just make sure you have your prompt in there. Uh, you can leave that as is, or you can reduce the resolution for the sample images if uh, you want it to go faster. And yeah, uh, once you have this set up, every hundred steps, it's basically going to generate um, a sample of the current uh, state of the training and then for the main node that's basically the training node everything is pre-set up for you um you can change the settings if you want uh it's gonna work fine probably um but you will need to experiment if you want to change the settings um the only thing you really need to change in there is maybe the sample every n steps uh, the save state. So if you want to save the current uh, state of your training, you select that. If you want to resume a training, you can just uh, put the path to the save state folder that was generated when training. Um, if you have, uh, you know, you don't have a lot of VRAM, you can try using blocks to swap. Uh, this is basically going to let you use your uh, normal RAM to offload the model. So you might be able to train on 16 gigs of uh, VRAM instead of, you know, 24, 32. Uh, if you want to use the high noise, you can just select that, but it's not needed. And you set that to execute and you should be good to go. Okay, so this should be 875. So yeah, uh, once you have all of this set up, just run it and it's going to work and it's going to start training and this node is going to basically um it's set up for the sample folder and it's looking every three seconds on that folder if uh, there's a new image and it's going to show you your last training image 
directly in there without needing to rerun the workflow or anything like that so yeah that's basically uh the load for one uh, it's going to be the same for coin it's essentially the exact same workflow um the only thing that's different is the node here and uh the setting here um the only other difference is the models are going to be different and yeah so once you have all that set up you just run it um it should work if you have any issues hit me up on the discord the patreon and i'll try to help you guys um and yeah i'll just go over the installation and that's gonna be it let's get it Okay, so we are in RunPod. You can use my link for free credits uh, in the description. If you are, if you want to use a storage, you can, but it's not needed. Um, here, you're just going to select a 5090. Uh, we change the template and we go for this RunPod basic template. We just use that for now for the example. Uh, you can choose the amount of storage you need here. Um, but yeah, so you just deploy that on demand. And it's basically going to install config ui directly so you just gotta wait a couple of minutes for everything to be downloaded and installed and after that we'll be um installing or dropping in the nodes and installing most by tuner in the back end and we should be good to go so i'll just wait for that to be done and i'll be back when it is so actually while everything is downloading and installing you still have access to Jupyter Lab so you can just open that up. I'll just close everything else for now. So you have access to uh, Jupyter Lab so you just go here config UI uh, and you go inside custom nodes and from here you can just drag and drop uh, my nodes directly in there just like that. Okay, so if we go inside there, we can see everything is ready to go. Um, if we go to terminal now to install uh, everything. So first thing we have to do is PIP install UV. Okay. Once it's installed, you only need to do UV run install dot UI. This is going to download and install all the requirements for um, muscle by tuner that's going to be running in the back end so we we'll just wait for that to finish and meanwhile we can go back um, to see where the installation is at okay so we finished installing all the dependencies right now as you can see it's asking um where muscle by tuner is so that means it's not installed already we just say yes basically gonna clone it and uh, from there we are good to go so we can go back to comfy UI if it's done is it done it's not done yet oh it's starting up okay so we have comfy UI fully installed and as we can see we have our node here um, if we open up comfy UI this is a brand new installation the only thing we have to do is drop the workflow directly in there um our nodes are going to be installed already all the nodes we need are going to be those so we do manager install missing custom nodes and we select everything install so we just restart we go back we can follow the progress on that okay we have restarted if we go back in Confi UI, we refresh the page. Nothing should be read anymore. Okay, this means we're technically ready to train. The only thing we are needing is the path to the models. You'll have to download the path, the models directly to your uh, Confi UI pod. So you need this, this, and this. And then you'll have to upload your data set in RunPod and put the, the path to your data set. And after that, you should be good to go. Just need to set everything uh, to match your actual pod. 
um, if you want to get the, the path to your stuff in here, you just go um, to whatever file, and you just uh, copy the path, you go back to Confi, and if you put it there, this is what it looks like. Let me extend that a bit. So this is what it's going to look like. Uh, and yeah, from there, you can just put all the proper path and you should be good to go. Uh, you set this to true, set this to true, and uh, yeah. That's it for um, fucking run pod, and then we're going to do it on Windows, and that's it. Okay, so right now we have the brand new Confi UI installation I just created. Um, the only thing you really need to do is go to custom nodes uh, and you copy and paste my nodes directly in there. Okay, once you have the node folder directly in the custom nodes folder, you go in there and you open up the terminal from there. Just do that like that. And then we need to do um, dot slash install back. That's basically going to uh, copy muscle by tuner uh, to your setup. And from there, you'll be able to train. So you just uh, run on P. I'm going to wait for everything to be set up properly. Okay, it's already up. Just open up Confi. So here we need to drop our workflow that we just downloaded. So we just drop that in there. Uh, some of the nodes are going to be red, but our nodes are already installed. So that's good. Um, here we just go manager, install Missy custom nodes, select everything, install. Then restart. Just pull up the log. Okay, we are back up and running. Refresh the page and nothing should be read anymore. Okay, there we go. And from here, we are technically good to go for the training. All the paths are already set. So if I just run that, technically it should just work. There we go. So this is running. Um, this is the command as we can see. Yeah, this is on a brand new installation. So everything should work for you as well. If you have any question, you already know it. Me up on the Discord, me up on the Patreon. And uh, I'm tired. So let's, let's end that shit. Guys, let's go.